it's good to see you guys thank you so much for clicking on my video how are you i hope you're well today i'm doing a full face of lolita 2 and if you'd like to see it then please keep on watching Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of Lolita 2. As you can see, I used it on my eyes, lips and cheeks. Um, eyes, lips and cheeks, yes. I was about to say eye, lips and face and then I threw myself off by saying cheeks. But anyway, this is Lolita 2. I have a little mini size here. Um, this is from KVD Beauty and it is the sister to the original Lolita 1. I compare these two a little bit at the end of the video, but they're slightly different shades. I've already done a full face of Lolita 1. If you'd like to check that out, that's already up on my channel. But today I'll be showing you how I did a full face using this liquid lipstick here, using it on the eyes, lips and cheeks and um, how I was able to manipulate the product to have different intensities um, and different kind of like finishes on the face. If you'd like to see how I did it, then please keep on watching. Let's get this party started. Okay, so I'm really excited for this video for like no reason. Um, I'm gonna start off with some primer if I can find it. I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Um, I don't know why, but it's the number 003. Like there are gonna be other shades of primer. This one's just like, it comes out white. Does that mean that they used to have like, maybe like a pink one and a peach one? I don't know, I'm making it up. Um, I don't know why this primer is 003, but I'm just gonna squeeze it out on my beauty blender, um, just like that, and pounce that, pouncing it into my face. This damp beauty blender is from, I don't know. I actually don't know. It could be from Kmart, it could be from Chi Chi Cosmetics. I actually have no idea where this beauty, beauty blender, beauty blender came from, and um, I can't remember. It's just like a yellow, pointed hourglass kind of one. Anyway, I'm just gonna focus that primer into like the center of my face, like around the nose and like mouth, forehead, those kind of areas, and then just wipe kind of the excess around the edges of my face. Um, just because the most texture is like on the center of the face and then there's like a little bit of texture on the sides, but like not as much. Anyway, you can't see, but I just put my beauty blender on the table and it sat up perfectly like a little perfect egg satisfied me. Anyway, now I'm going to go into some foundation and the foundation I'm going to use today is the Rimmel Lasting Matte Full Coverage Mattifying Foundation in the shade 103 True Ivory. And I'm just going to also use the Beauty Blender. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender for like everything today. Um, and I'm just going to, I like squeezed out like maybe like that much. You can do more, you can do less, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you get too much, just like get rid of a little excess, just like wipe it off somewhere or like take it all the way down your neck. That's what I do sometimes. Um, and if you don't have enough, you can always squeeze out some more, you know, it's no big deal. You could always save it. Don't give up on your face. Keep on beating your face and it will eventually, you eventually take it to the place you want it to be. I feel like it's easier to start off with less though and work up to more. Like if you put on too much, um, makeup, it's kind of like harder to take off, but if you start off with less, you can always be like, oh, I kind of want a bit more coverage and pop on some more later. That's just my thoughts though, but also I like cake it on. So like, it's not like I'm like, mm, that's too much, like whatever, who cares? I also do cake it on when I'm like filming with you guys though, like a little bit more than I usually would even, just because like, I want to be able to like see that I'm wearing the makeup in the viewfinder. Like I want to see like a brightened difference when I contour and bronze my face. I want to see the bronzer on my face. I don't want it to like be invisible and like I've just done nothing. Um, under these harsh lights, everything kind of washes out a bit. And so um, I want it to be bright enough or like intense enough for you to be able to see it under these um, lights that I have. I don't have like the craziest lighting set up. I'm not like a professional or anything, obviously. Um, I just have two um, umbrella lights and they kind of make a... Um, bright but soft light over my face because if I had the umbrella lights um with like lower like dimmer bulbs it would be like not as um clear on my little camera here so yeah I've just popped on the concealer that matches that foundation this concealer is the Rimmel Lasting Matte Concealer in the shade 10 Fair Ivory and so yeah that is like my base done I want to put on some blush before I set my face just because of the way I'm doing it today so as I mentioned earlier this is a full face of Lolita 2 so I'm just going to grab some of the liquid lipstick from the applicator, pop it on my beauty blender like that. I've just done two stripes and I'm just going to pounce this onto my cheek directly. It looks scary. It looks intense, but it's okay because 
we will blend it out. Now, as you might be able to tell, this is a lot warmer of a shade than um, Lolita One. It's kind of like got a different undertone. Lolita One is a lot more cooler compared, and I feel like it looks a little bit darker, whereas this one is a little bit of a lighter pink shade, if that makes sense. Anyway, it looks really intense at first, but just keep blending and um, things will work out. If you feel like it's too intense, use the other side of your beauty blender and like it has a like, concealer on that side, just like pounce and pounce and it will blend in. See, that's not so scary, huh? That's fine. I also want to take some on my forehead as well. I don't know if I have enough. Yeah, I have enough on my little blender here. I'm just going to bounce that on my forehead because I love the way a blushed forehead looks. It just looks like you have gone to the beach. You had a good time in the sun. You got a little bit sun kissed, but you wore your sunscreen, but just like a little bit of like a, I don't know. You probably wouldn't have this kind of glow if you wore your sunscreen, but it looks like you've gone for a run and you are like you had a, it's a hot day. It's summer and you're having a good time. That's the vision. Anyway, so I'm just going to pounce this everywhere and yeah, it kind of melts in nicely once you work it in a bit. So I've just worked it in. I'm making sure that my under eyes are still bright because I want the concealed look down there. And I'm going to do the other side. Do you think that looks too intense around the nose? I want to like kind of blush nose, but like not too much. I kind of want to put some blush on my nose. So yeah, I really like um, using liquid lipsticks as blushes at the moment. I like using them as eyeshadows. I feel like it just like, it gives me more use out of liquid lipsticks that I wouldn't really typically think to use them for because obviously they're liquid lipsticks. Like you think like, oh, liquid lipsticks are for your lips, but you can use all your products for anything. Like you could use your foundation as a lipstick if you wanted foundation on your lips. You could use your, um, I'm trying to think of like different things. You could use your lip gloss as eyeshadow and make like a glossy lids. You can do whatever. So yeah, today I'm going to be using that same little mini liquid lipstick on my whole face, um, as the only like color and like doing a full face of Lolita too. So yeah, I'm just going to pounce that over the cheeks, make sure it's blended out in the way that I want it to be. I also like kind of wipe and roll the, um, what's this called? Beauty blender. So that it like kind of melts into the face and the um, products we applied earlier a bit better. I just feel like it melts into the skin when I like really press it in. I'm like working it into the skin quite well there. Okay, let's bring it up a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit more even. Do you think that looks all right? I think that's, that's fine. My face isn't that symmetrical anyway, so like whatever. Now I'm going in with some bronzer. I don't know, I need to set my face. I almost forgot. Let's set the face. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I can hear people outside my house. I don't know what they're up to. Anyway, I'm just going to grab this on a like duo fiber face brush from Real Techniques. This brush smells really good because um, I used like Cinema Secrets brush cleaner on it and it smells like vanilla. It's so nice. I'm just going to set my face loosely just so that, um, you know, my face stays in place. Um, and so that later on, um, my bronzer doesn't like skip or anything over my face just because like, you know, if I don't set my face, the bronzer could like skip or drag or become patchy. I'm also setting over my eyes, of course. Um, and yeah, this just like increases the lasting power of my makeup in my opinion. So yeah, really like this one. I wear the shade 10 fair light if I forgot to say earlier, but they come in heaps of shades. This is just like one that suits my skin tone best in my opinion. Okay, let's go in for the bronzer now. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Wild Bronze Glow. This stuff smells like argan oil to me and it's really beautiful. This is the La Terra Sun Powder Face and Body and I wear the shade 01 Light Bronze. I'm going to be using this bronzer brush from Benefit. This is their little like hula bronzer brush and I think it's really cute because it looks like a little bamboo, like a little branch of a bamboo tree branch, of, trunk of a bamboo, I don't know what I'm saying, you get the vibes, it's got bamboo vibes, um, and I like how it's gold, and like when it's clean, this brush is not clean right now, but when it is clean, the bristles are like a little teal colour, and I think it's really cute, um, I love the colour teal, it's so like bright and fun and summery, I obviously just bronze the sides of my face there to bring warmth back to the face, um, and I'm also going to go along the like jawline here, just like add more warmth, and like also bring some definition to the face and I love to take bronzer down my neck as well just kind of like I don't know hides any double chins not that I really have an extreme double chin but like it just I just do it okay like just put some on there it feels good um I'm also gonna put this through my like what is this called 
hairline <laughs> just so that I also bronze up the face um, if you want to like make your forehead look shorter you can like add heaps up here and it like shortens the forehead um, I'm just doing this to like I don't know sculpts the face it looks good um, and it makes the whole face look evenly bronzed and warm this makes it look like I've been kissed by the Sun all over my forehead I'm also gonna grab this br bronzer brush bronzer brush and I'm going to pinch it and just drag it down the sides of my nose I'm not contouring with this I'm just bronzing my nose with this so that um, my whole face is like bronzed everywhere otherwise I don't want to have like a bronzed face and like a pale white nose in the middle I think that looks odd to me anyway let's um yeah just dust off the center a bit so it like yeah I like the way that looks okay um I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow now I know very exciting first of all I'm just gonna grab the bronzer that I just used uh, like two seconds ago and I'm gonna grab a angled like blending brush I don't know what this is called because the name has rubbed off but this is a brush from Real Techniques and it's just like an angled um, a brush and I'm gonna fluff some of this bronzer through my crease just to give some definition and shape to the eye area this is something I always do focusing on the outer corner of the eye I feel like it makes a bit of a flared look and complements my eye shape best but you know you might prefer a different way of like sculpting your eye do whatever you like this is just what I prefer and I feel like looks best on me so I'm gonna do this and this brush is really easy to use I love my brushes from Real Techniques What's that? Like a little bit of a mascara that came from earlier? Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to be using Lolita 2 on the eyes. I'm going to be grabbing this brush from Real Techniques. It could be like a concealer brush, like a big fluffier kind of concealer brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to directly grab the doe foot applicator and make um, the doe foot applicator draw directly onto the brush so that the brush has the product on it. I'm going to work it from the outer corner of the eye towards the inner corner because I would like most of the product to be on the outer corner just because that's where I prefer um, like it to be darker on my eye shape I just think, think it's more flattering and so I'm just gonna like pack it on there and then work it towards the inside just fluffing that around making sure that it's blending through and then I'm not too fussed about the edges being perfectly blended just because um, I am going to go in afterwards and like blend them better afterwards so I'm just kind of placing the color right now um, and I'm just gonna do the same on the other side the first time I'm just kind of fluffing it over the whole area but focusing on the outer area just because that's where I like the most intensity and then I'm going to go in again and I'm going to deepen up further that outside area just kind of packing that on just so that it has a little bit more depth out there just like that just because that's where I want it to be darker and then that's all that I'm going to add color wise to the eyes then I'm going to grab that same brush that I used earlier this is that little angled brush I'm going to use the lid of my candle jar as a mirror because I really need a mirror at this point and I didn't bring one over with me because I don't have a handheld mirror that I like. Well, I, do, I don't have a handheld mirror, so yeah, um, I kind of need to get one. So I'm just going to blend this from the inside and then blend it out. So starting by blending the inner corner first and then I'm going to blend the outer corner last just because I don't want to take lots of product from the outer corner and then blend it to the inner corner and like make the intensity of the inner corner um, really dark because I prefer that to be the lighter area um, so I'm just gonna blend it I should have blended one side at a time because this is really intense obviously because it's a liquid lipstick it's like set <laughs> I should have done this like one side at a time do one eye at a time don't make the mistake that I did um, where's my brush again I'm just gonna add some more because I should have done one side at a time oops my mistake okay well we're going to another level of intensity now because I made that mistake it's okay it still can be cute let's just keep blending you gotta you gotta trust the process sometimes you gotta trust that you can save it and that's what we're doing today anyway okay that's not too bad we kind of saved it that's not too bad I kind of want to blend that out a bit more over there I think that looks fine good enough okay I'm gonna highlight over the top of this anyway so that's gonna like clean up some of the edges a little bit um, let's do that now 
So the highlighter I'm going to be using is Flexitarian from Colourpop. It's one of their Super Shock Cheek products and I have hit major pan in this because this is beautiful. This product is really reflective, it's very intense and I'm just going to be highlighting my whole face using this setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to dab it in the side there and get some product. So I just place it on the cheekbone where I'd like it to be most intense and then I blend it around. This highlight has like kind of like an icy undertone. It can be quite bright and white but it's not too icy that it looks like white white on my skin um this might look really bright on some other people like depending on like how your skin tone is um but i can pull this off there are some whiter highlights where i just feel like too too icy but this one has like almost like an opaly undertone that not opaly it kind of has like a some sort of neutral undertone that i feel like still makes it look very beautiful on the skin without being too too icy so I still like this there are some white undertone like pearlescent icy highlights that I just find too um space alien galactic looking which is still nice like who doesn't love a space alien galactic highlight um but you know I don't always feel like that this one is one that I can still feel like looks like a sweaty glistening skin which is like the vibe that I prefer um and yeah, I'm just working this onto the forehead as well, above the brow bone, just because that's somewhere that I like to highlight as well. Um, I'm also going to grab this on this random brush. What is this? It's a concealer brush from Nude by Nature. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this on my brow bone. And I'm just going to blend it again with the same brush. So I like placed it with that concealer brush and then I'm just going to blend it out better with this one. So the intensity is where I placed it with the concealer brush. But then it's like diffused with this setting brush just because this setting brush is obviously a bit of a larger fluffy brush for the brow bone area. But you can see it's like still bright up there. And that also like helped with the height of the eyeshadow that I placed. I'm also going to use this same highlight and put it down the center of the nose just to like I don't know, it kind of like does the amount of like contouring that I need. It just straightens the nose. I love drawing a line down the center of the nose and focusing it on the tip and the, like, I don't know what this part is called, like the top of the bridge of the nose. I just feel like it makes the nose look really cute. Um, I like the way it looks on my nose, you know. Makes it look nice and tall and straight in a nice way. I'm also going to focus this on my inner corners and take this across my mobile lid um, just because I like the way... Um, my eye shape looks when I put highlight on the center of my mobile lid. I just feel like it's most flattering. I'm going to do the same on the other side, of course. I don't know why I always put on highlight on my cupid's bow because I don't even know if I need to highlight that area. I have a pretty prominent cupid's bow anyway, so do I really need to highlight it? And it's not somewhere where I'm like obsessed with like, ooh, like dewy cupid's bow. I don't know. Should I keep doing that? Maybe I should just like chill out on the cupid's bow highlight but I always do it like without thinking these days I just like yep cupid's bow down the center of the nose inner corners like they're all my classic areas anyway so that is all the places I'm going to highlight I think I'll go off camera today to do my um eyeliner and brows but I'll be right back when I've got my liner um mascara brows all that kind of jazz on and I'll see you in a bit toodaloo and we're back. So now I have my brows, liner and lashes on. Um, just a little bit about what I used. I used the Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil for my brows. I just really faintly like used the spoolie through the front of my brows just because there's already product on the spoolie um, because I've used it every time I've done my brows. Obviously um, this brow pencil is like a little bit darker than the colour that I'm going for on my brows because I've lightened my brows to match my lightened hair now. So I just use it really faintly and just filled in like the tail of my brows because I don't really have a tail on my brows. I just kind of drew that on and filled in any sparse areas really lightly super lightly because you know this is dark compared to my hair now and then for liner of course I used my Maybelline hyper sharp wing liner this is my favorite eyeliner with a brush tip um, the brush tip makes a huge difference in my opinion but unfortunately today both of my liners are like objectively really nice like that really nice that really nice but this one goes upwards and this one goes outwards more so like we're not going to talk about it it's kind of a bad liner day but it's kind of a good liner day because it's a bad liner day because they're both like different angles but it's good because they're both nice eyeliners like they're both nice so I don't hate either of them um and then the mascara I used is the Man Eater mascara from Tarte this is just a little mini size that I was gifted by my mum's cousin and I've been using it a lot recently this has a kind of chubbier um spoolie on the mascara wand and yeah I've been quite enjoying I'm not sure if it's waterproof or not I haven't really tested it out it says it's a voluptuous mascara made in Italy Ooh, fancy um but yeah that's the mascara I use today also with this mirror um it's because none of the products I have with me today 
in this like area of my room have mirrors in them. Like none of the products have a mirror on the inside that I can use. So I just grabbed this random candle mirror instead. By the way, the candle that I stole this lid from is a Bath and Body Works sugared snickerdoodle candle and it smells very delicious. Anyway, let's get into the lips now. I'm just going to moisturize my lips a little bit using the Burt's Bees um, hydrating lip balm with coconut and pear. It's the one with the white lid. Um, and it says it's 100% natural. Ooh la la. Uh, this is a really fresh Burt's Bees. Tastes quite delicious to me. I do rate it. And then I'm just going to apply um, the Kat Von D Liter 2 on top. I was just making sure this is the right liter. So if I wanted like a softer look, I could just put a little bit in the center of the lip and then just like work it around with my um, finger. And that's more of like a lip blush kind of look. This is like kind of softer and I would probably say it suits this look more. Or you could, if you wanted, build the intensity and just go right in with the applicator of the liquid lipstick and just build up the color to be a little bit more intense. So that's like a little bit more intense, but that's probably how I used to wear liquid lipstick more. I feel like I now do more of a lip blush just because it's like, it's a bit more 2021. It's a bit softer. Um, this is a bit 2016 vibes to me, but I still do it sometimes. Depends on the mood, you know, I kind of still do 2016 style makeup, even though everyone else has moved on to 2021 makeup. I still kind of like this as well. I just don't prefer um, like a bolder lip when I have a lighter eye on just because I don't prefer the way that looks on my face. I like it when my eyes are darker than my lips, just my personal preference, or at least like they're both dark. Um, whereas I feel like I've gone for a lighter eye today. I'd prefer a lighter lip, but yeah, I just show you guys what it looks like with the lip at its full intensity. I'll also show you, um, just ripped the back of my hair apart. Um, I'll show you a comparison of Lolita 1 and Lolita 2 because I did do a full face of Lolita 1. And so compared with Lolita 2, as you can see, Lolita 2 is a little bit more warm toned. Lolita 1 is a little bit more cool toned and slightly darker. They are very similar shades, similar vibes, but slightly different vibes. Um, and I like them both. They both give a different flavor, similar, similar fonts, but slightly different fonts. I don't know. Anyway, I like them both. Um, this is the full face complete. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. I do lots of makeup on my channel. I do lots of random videos. Um, anything you'd like to see, I can do. Um, so subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you in a future video soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. And here are some more clips of the look. By the way, my dress is from Brandy Melville and my necklace is from Proud Sejula. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Peace.